On the drought situation in the country, President William Ruto says his government will import 4 million bags of maize this March to bridge the food shortage gap in the country. The head of state said the move will also go a long way in trying to feed families facing starvation in arid and semi-arid areas following the prolonged drought in the country. Stephen Latour has more details. With the prices of basic commodities hitting the roof, President William Ruto says his government has laid down mechanisms to caution Kenyans against the increasing cost of living. President Ruto says the government has approved the importation of 4 million bags of maize to start with. Tumnawambia wakulima wote ambao bado wako na chakula katika stores zao. Tuliwapatia muda ya kuuza hiyo chakula. Sasa hiyo muda imeisha. Tumeamua katika baraza la mawaziri juzi ya kwamba sasa tumeweka mpango ya kuagiza chakula kutoka nje. Sasa tumekubali ya kwamba tutaagiza mahindi gunia milioni ine ambayo itafika hapa kuanzia mwezi huu wa tatu. The head of state said the importation window will also accommodate other food products. Tumeagiza mchele, tumeagiza piyakula vingine na hata mafuta ya kupikia, tumeagiza pamoja na hata maragwe na mambo mengine, ambayo itatusaidia kutuletea chakula, ndio tupunguze, ndio mambo ya chakula isipande juu kwa bei. With over 5 million Kenyans facing starvation due to the ongoing drought and the weatherman predicting a grim rainy season that could last up to October, President Ruto says his government will start to distribute relief food to the affected families. Wale watu wetu ambao wako katika sehemu kame, tumepanga na tumeweka shilingi bilioni tatu katika budget yetu ya juzi na tumesema hiyo chakula itaanza kusambazwa kuanzia wiki hii. The president added that the cabinet also approved additional expenditure to boost the school feeding program to ensure the current drought does not affect learners. We are going to add an additional one billion shillings from this week for the school feeding program so that no child stayed out of school because they do not have food. President Ruto also took a jibe at opposition leaders over their threats to hold demonstrations over the cost of living and their demands on IEBC servers. Napanga mambo ya mbolea na wakulima, napanga importation ya chakula ndio tupunguze garama ya chakula. Sasa mimi nitapata nafasi wapi ya kwenda kupambana na tina mambo ya masafa. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.